Well, we've had plenty of hot weather and it's felt like summer, but it hasn't technically been summer. And you know we have to be technical about these things. Summer will officially start Thursday at 450 in the afternoon. Why? Well, that's when the summer solstice happens and we have two of those every year. We have the summer solstice and we have the winter solstice. And what it means is that one of the Earth's poles is tilted at its maximum toward the sun. So for us now, for the summer solstice, the North Pole is tilted at its maximum toward the sun. So we have our longest days and our warmest days here in the northern hemisphere, while the southern hemisphere has the opposite. Their shortest days and their coolest days. At the North Pole, there's 24 hours of light. At the South Pole, there's 24 hours of darkness when the summer solstice happens. And of course, we have some warmer weather to go. It's a gradual improvement. Average high right now is 86. By the beginning of July, it's 88. And in the middle of July, our average high temperature gets up to 89. That's the warmest that it gets all year long. Now, of course, you just use this as a guide. We can have warmer days than fact. In fact, we're talking about some in the low to mid 90s for this coming weekend. But once we get into the end of July and head toward August, we start to reverse course with that heat ever so slightly. And the same kind of thing happens to our daylight. Of course, Thursday will be our longest day of the year in terms of daylight. Sun will rise at about 602. The sun will set at just around 839. But over the next two weeks, we already start to see us going back the other way and in about the next month sunrises will be back to 616 and the sunset will be back to 835.